So uh, it's day one in LA. <laughs> I figured I'd start off by linking up with LeBron. Um, LeBron, where are you? I'm gonna see if uh, I can get some shots up with Bronny. Uh, so I'll get it. I gotta get back in the car. You mean off, off? No, I know Derek Pardon though. He fr no, I'm with the found the found. You know, you know the foundation. No, I leave. Okay. Uh, I guess um, it's a no go for LeBron's house, but uh, uh, we'll try someone else. I don't know. We'll figure it out. This offseason, Junior Barrett Benson traveled to Los Angeles to participate in the Immersion Mentorship and Actualization Program through NU for Life, a Northwestern program dedicated to the professional development of Northwestern's student athletes. IMAP is a three to five day experience, kind of a immersion experience um, in your anticipated industry. So for me, it was television and film. I was looking forward to kind of get a feel for what a career looks like and what are some possible paths in the industry. It was amazing. First of all, I got to stay with Charlie and his family, which was really fun to be out there with a the teammate. And, um, and then also I met a lot of cool people. I uh, met with different people from HBO, Hulu, Netflix, went on Jimmy Kimmel Live. Uh, it was just a great experience seeing a lot of people at the top of the industry and, and being able to take some of their valuable time and learn from them. If I'm by no standards, no means a master of paddleboarding, but I definitely am a solid beginner. So I would, uh, I would count as a success. I agree with that wholeheartedly. He's, he was very good, especially today in the less windy conditions. Vast improvements, uh, really turning into a uh, California native. Yeah, I'm a solid, solid beginner for sure. But uh, that's all we got so far. Back on campus, Benson took his interest in TV and film to the stage in conjunction with the summer class. So I was definitely interested in writing for comedy, but uh, something I didn't expect that I was going to have to do was uh, perform a stand-up set, actually. Which was a completely different experience that I wasn't uh, planning on doing, but definitely was a rewarding experience afterwards. All of the guys on the team know how funny Barrett is, uh, and I had never seen him do like an elongated monologue of any sort or any stand-up, obviously. But we all know he has such a great sense of humor and such like good comedic timing uh, that I knew he was going to kill it. And with being taught certain things about stand-up and how to do stand-up, he was going to be like I knew he was going to kill it. So I was super excited about that. Leading up to my set, I was the most nervous I've probably ever been in my life. Uh, they kind of put like a bottle of water on the table and I just kept filling my glass up and I, I drank the whole bottle and I started drinking like my dad's iced tea and and then I got the first laugh and I look over and my team was laughing and it just felt like I was just, everything was calm again. It felt like I was joking around in the locker room and it just flowed from there. Um, for, before any of you ask or think you're more clever than the hundreds of people that came before you, I'm 6'10", 7'5", with the fro. Um, <laughs> I kind of just thought about my identity being biracial growing up, and my dad just has a lot of funny stories because he's, uh, he's a funny guy, um, a source of humor in my life, and kind of just pulled that together and, and made a, a set out of that. Like, that's what I did when it was convenient to me. I was black. Um, so like at school dances, like my little white friends would like make circles around me and I'd like ducky and they'd be like, hey, <laughs> like we know a black guy, you know? And I'd be like, half, half, half. Um, <laughs> And, and like, and I listened to a little rap too, but like, I remember like, when I was with my mom, I felt like I had to be white. And then when I was with my dad, I thought I had to be black. And so like, I would hide like my iPod from my mom. Like, I didn't want her to know I listened to rap. Like, she'd be devastated that her son was in like the hardcore tracks, like the black eyed peas, you know? Um, so, I always found it. It meant the world to me uh, to have my teammates there because it just felt like I had a, a real good support system. And, and that was a great experience for me. It was awesome, I thought. I actually thought multiple kids in the class, because it was the whole class that did, they each did a five minute stand up thing, but I thought trying to be as unbiased as possible, I honestly thought Barrett did the best. I thought he was really funny, he got consistent laughs throughout, so um, it went about as good as it could have gone, I think. It was really, really good. 